What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here to review, uh, you know, one of my favorite documentaries on the road while I'm driving. But uh, one of my favorite documentaries, Dark Side of the Ring, season three, and we're going around um, second episode. This one is with uh, Nick Cage. So um, Nick Cage, um, new to me. But, but he ain't new to everybody. Um, definitely legend in the ring, seems like. Uh, but he's on more of the, the indie scene. Um, and I don't know if that's an insult to him, but he has a big following, big cult following, big big following. Let me don't use specific words and stuff. But uh, he has a big following for those like real gruesome um, matches and um, pretty much called death matches and stuff. So all that hardcore stuff you see on TV, Try to they try to you know put up that's that's I guess that's all behind either him or the matches that he, he usually gets into and and so this that this episode uh so again um shout this uh Dark Side of the Ring the the creators they they put me into something new that I didn't know about wrestling but this this episode put um the stamp on like hey this 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 type of wrestling exists this is the following. And this that and, and and somebody like me that watches wrestling and I was a fan real young and then I uh, kind of tapered off and then I'm back into it. Um, so I have like a little you know I got history uh, and knowing what's what's going on back in the day. I kind of just had a phase where I phased out or whatever. But hey, um, it's something I never even tapped into. So but he's definitely he's definitely a dude. Oh look, man, this this is right here, man, Ferrari. No, sorry, man. I don't know the, uh, marvel at the cars. I wouldn't show y'all if, if I can, but you just pass, pass it. You can see it. But uh, anyways, um, yeah. So Nick Cage is just you know that legend in that. He has he has a story. Um, he has he has downfall. He has uprising. He has you know uh, his heights and lows. When he went to prison, dealing with um you know drugs and all. Not nah, not going to prison dealing with drugs, but you know probably probably part of it but he had he went went to prison dealt with drugs all part of his story and then just just showing how how he's going right now i, I want to say he's in his uh i want to say i don't think i think he's uh in his 40s or something so um not relatively old but um he's been doing it for a while and had a lot of time taken away from him going into the system and stuff like that but um Good story, especially if you didn't know about him. And um, also, also I would say um, the, the the biggest thing is just like that 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 allured everybody to it is that David Arquette, the actor, kind of um, allured to it. So you know, we know we know when WCW is going down the toilet, or or you know, in they in their worst days, getting well, once it, once it was about to get bought off by WWE, um, David Arquette like. I forgot who he pinned or whatever, but he won. What's all this flying in the street? That's crazy. It's like a bunch of pollen. I don't know what it is. Star phone looks like. Anyways, um, David Arquette was a uh, was just a guest, like 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 you do on WrestleMania. Any celebrity guest there um, coming in and out of WWE right now, now over and over. But he actually won. The world heavyweight title, which is like unprecedented, like just one time shot. Oh, he won it. It, it was like crazy, and, and and it was all part of the writer's scheme at the time. I, I forget his name, but man, I know. Uh, excuse me. Um, your boy hates him, man. Uh, uh, John <laughs> Jim Cordell hates him, <laughs> but it was all part of his scheme or whatever. He didn't like Hogan. I don't know, man. It was this is massive. That was like one of the biggest stops in the face of the business, all that type of stuff. So Jim uh, Arquette took that as um, I would say Jim Cornette. Arquette took that as like, hey man, I, I don't want to be a joke as wrestling. I want to really do, but bro, you picked the wrong match to actually just figure out what you want to do. Like so, so he, he figured he, he said, I'm gonna go do the 
the death mask with Nick Cage. And and it didn't take me about 10 minutes to realize Nick Cage is the real deal. Um, this dude had like basically some, some kind of like sharp object from the glass poked in his side to the fact where I think I think he was bleeding out and and the doctors they had to take him back. He wrestled like this I think this is the second time wrestling that night. He he had, the doctors had to take him back and he was like he's like man um uh, uh, he cares so much about the fan. He was like just walk me out there walk me out there I'm, I'm gonna go back up so you can't go back out there you believe in that it's like no no let me let me let me go back out there no bro you can't go back out there we'll just we'll just we'll just take me out there and act like you like you guys called it off or whatever like no you need to go to the hospital right now so from the backyard little vent like i don't say little like like just disrespected but in their backyard event they like he load that dude out of there which means like helicopter you know um that dude out of there um and man that dude was lucky to be alive man he, he did a lot of um close calls and all, all this type of stuff but he, he got that following man it, it's, it's an interesting story if you, if you didn't know about it and i think that's what's the beauty of this this documentary um and we'll put it i was like i was like man this is one nick cage and David Arquette, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna care, but actually, you know, it was interesting to see it, like, like, oh, a different side of wrestling and stuff like that, so, um, shout out to them, glad they're still alive, man, because, hey, look, look at the documentary, like, like, he almost, uh, he almost, David Arquette almost could have died in the, in the ring, but it wasn't it was that bad, and he gave him chances, like, not to do it, but, you know, gonna be stubborn and stuff but but yeah again uh seemed like seemed like it was uh some good uh good footage good stuff um it was just real gruesome i, I was cringing a lot of times man but that's just me i don't know man some people might like that stuff like that gruesome stuff so but anyway um check it out you know um i always recommend dark side of the ring next episode coming up invasion of korea i'm interested to see that because you know, I, I was watching um, wrestling back then at that time, and I, I don't remember that happening specifically. So to refresh my memory, or just to see something that I didn't see, would be great. But anyway, um, until I see y'all again, man, happy birthday to my daughter, you know, Kayla, 18th birthday. I love you. Happy birthday. Love you. Until I see y'all again, I'm on the DMAC.